Hi, my name is Daniela, and today we're going to be creating a horseshoe bee garden steak. The material we're going to be using today is you'll need four horseshoes, you'll need some quarter inch round bar, some 10M rebar, and I also use my old CWB test coupons as a stand. You could also use any type of steel with some height to it as well. PPE is very important and we want to make sure we're wearing the appropriate gear. Starting off, I've got my welding beanie on to protect my hair. I've got my safety glasses to protect my eyes. I've got my welding jacket on to protect myself. I've also got my welding gloves here, my welding helmet, and to protect my ears are my earplugs. And let's not forget our safety boots as well. The equipment we'll be using today is a wire-fed welding machine with GMAW process with 035 wire and a 7525 gas mixture. The tools we'll be using today is a wire brush, we have our welding pliers, and a framing square. So our first step today is we're gonna take two horseshoes, we're gonna flip them upside down so that our tacks are going on the back side of the horseshoe. We're gonna put them opposite of each other. We'll be using our framing square to make sure that they are square together. And we're going to put two tacks to join them together. Depending on the size of your first tack, you might have to put a second tack for added reinforcement. Once I've done my first set of tacks, I'm going to take my wire brush and make sure I clean my weld. You're then going to measure from this area to this area, and you're gonna cut a piece of rebar to fit that measurement. I've already cut my piece, and let me show you how it goes in place. Now we have to tack it into place. Next, we're gonna take our round bar. We're gonna cut it into three different pieces that's gonna fit the shape of your horseshoe, and that's gonna create stripes onto your bee. Once those are in place, we're gonna tack them together. Next, we're going to take the other two horseshoes to create the wings on our bee. So depending if you want your wings to be straight or have a bit of an angle, I'm gonna show you guys how we put a bit of an angle so it looks like your bubble bee is flying. Place the body of the bee over the table and I'm gonna hold the wing up to the bee. I can add a little bit of angle if I'd like. I'm gonna hold it in place and then tack it in the two spots to hold it together. Now for extra reinforcement, we're going to weld the areas in the front of the bee that we welded on the back as well. Now that we've created our bee out of horseshoes, I'm going to take my rebar and cut it to any length that you prefer. I like to use four feet, and then we're going to apply that to our bee to create our stake. Next I'm going to take my stand here that I'm going to prop up my bee to give it a nice angle to apply my rebar. Now that I've got it tacked into place, I'm going to weld all around the rebar. Now that we've completed our project, you can see on this one here I've added some antennas. These are just compression springs that I picked up from my local hardware store or you could even use your welding wire. Aren't they beautiful? Thanks for watching. Good luck on your project. And if you do try it out, make sure you take CWB Group.